Hey, this is Mike. Uh, it's kind of a windy day, so hopefully my wind filter thing will work today. But I uh, put had a really good um, recommendation in the comments by an awesome dude in the comments, and it is to put a 2500 and a 1500 side by side so we can kind of get a size comparison. So I guess like in the videos, um, if you haven't really seen one side by side, you don't really know the difference. Uh, as far as size, really, it's hard to tell when you only see them individually. So here's the 2500 right here. And the 1500s on the other side. So this one has a longer bed, a bigger front end. Now there's a, quite a few differences between just the, other than just size. Um, of course the 2500 has a diesel engine, uh, the 1500 has a gas. That's one major difference. They're both four wheel drive. Let's see if I can get you a parallel. The bed's slightly higher off the ground. The whole truck seems to be higher on the 2500. Now the 2500 has smaller wheels. The 1500 has 20 inch wheels. And the 2500, I think they're 18s. Yes, 18 inch steel wheels. So I don't know if that's a, a factor. Some of the 2500s are a little bit bigger. But, um, let's see if you can kind of see. I don't know exactly what would be the best angle. So for a size comparison, maybe that right there kind of helps. But one thing you'll notice, there's a lot more ground clearance on the 2500. But see on the 1500, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to put the camera down here. It has an independent front suspension with a CV axle for the four-wheel drive system. So hopefully you can see that. And then here on the 2500 I'm gonna put the camera in a similar spot and you should be able to see that it has a solid front axle so it's a lot heavier duty the 2500 now one of the things I noticed when driving the 2500 versus the 1500 is that it is bouncy they both have coil springs but the 2500 is designed to carry a lot more weight, so it has very has a very stiff suspension when it's unloaded, and you can kind of feel it when you're driving around. You kind of get that little bit of a bounce uh, feel to it, just because when there's no load on it, uh, there's a real stiff suspension there. Let's take a look here at the springs. And then you got the supports there for the front axle. Let's take a look at the same spot on the 1500. And this one has like a like a struts thing here, and no support there. All right. Um, now this one, of course, is a different trim level. Uh, this is a Laramie over here, so you got a lot of more options. You got fancier headlights and stuff. Uh, this is more of a basic model um, uh, for more for like work and stuff like that. This one's got leather. The 2500's got cloth. But I just wanted to give you an idea of the size comparison. Now, um, this particular, basically as far as like the interior room it seems to be identical um, the seats have about the same room this one has the the toe mirrors that stick out further but as far as like the inside when you get in the 2500 feels like it has the same seats the same steering wheel the same headroom everything about the interior is pretty much identical as far as the roominess of the interior as the 1500 and I haven't measured it but it seems like the bed is about the same size too as far as as far as that goes um, I may be totally wrong and it might be an extra inch or so on the 
on the 2500. But the real difference here is the capability. The 1500 is designed for uh, more for comfort. It does have less towing. It has less, um, you know, payload capacity, stuff like that. So, really, it's the capacity. Um, it's the the ability of the trucks. And of course, you can get a 2500 with all the bells and whistles, just like that one. Um, but. You know that it just has a higher capability of, of towing and payload and stuff like that so anyways um, there's there's probably a ton of stuff more that's different between these particular two vehicles but I just want to give you a you know kind of a brief overview and kind of a visual look of the size difference of these two trucks and um, and maybe that'll help a little bit try to line them up as best I could so you can kind of get an idea get another vantage point here of the maybe the ground clearance between the two trucks alright if you have any questions I'll try my best to answer them and uh, of course, you know, suggestions like this really help me out. I don't always have the extra time to uh, take the vehicles off the lot, line them up like this to do a video. Today I just happened to have a few extra minutes and uh, so if I can have the suggestions ready to go, I can go ahead and when I do have time to go ahead and do them. But um, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, like I said, leave it in the comments. Um, I do have an email address if you need to email me about a specific thing that you're working on or um, you know looking for or whatever I can try to try to help you best I can um, I'm in North Carolina so if you know you're like in another state or something you know I may, I'm limited on what I can do but I'll do my best to help you on pretty much anything I can all right thanks for watching see you next time